demonstrators under assault. Syrian security forces firing tear gas in Homs. This on the same day that Arab League observers finally arrive in the Flashpoint city. This video purports to show the head of the mission, General Mohammed al Dabi, walking through Homs. Residents approach, show him what appears to be remnants of weapons. The monitors insist they will have free access to any place they want. But activists and residents question that claim. We need from these observers to, uh, to move in a dependent way and uh, nobody uh, telling them where to go or where to come. We need them to visit uh, these areas, these uh, uh, painful areas uh, that are damaged. CNN cannot independently verify this video, but it purports to show the monitors in the neighborhood of Baba Amr. Residents argue with a man described to us as a government minder, pleading for the team members to be taken to other areas. An unseen voice is heard saying, there are unarmed civilians dying here. Go inside and see for yourself. They are slaughtering us. Then the sound of gunfire. <laughs> Emboldened by the presence of the observers, tens of thousands of protesters gathered in another part of the city for a huge rally. <laughs> the people demand international protection, they chanted. <laughs> but chaos would erupt yet again. This video shows a building on fire. A voice describes how another peaceful demonstration was fired upon. It is as if the Arab League did not come to Homs, says the man. <laughs> Elsewhere in the country, in Hama, reports of more violence. Protesters under attack as they demonstrated in the streets. Tear gas being dispersed, security forces opening fire. All at a time when an international mission is hoping to put an end to this sort of violence. Mohamed Jamjoum, CNN, Cairo.